Uh, looking forward to um, an exciting and a, um, huh, let's put it this way, uh, maybe a humbling season. Um, but I think it's it's going to be uh, something that it's 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 a new Rubik's cube for me. So every year I think I get you get you kind of get that in front of you, and then you decide how you get the the colors to match, and and uh, hopefully it's the right time of year. But we're excited. It's a good group, and um, for me, there's a lot of unknowns. So that'll be for me the the exciting part, trying to figure out how to push all the right buttons. What do you mean by humbling exactly? Is that more for the players? Is it more the schedule? Is it well, I think any time you get yourselves the challenges like we have, which is a um, new team, a uh, big transition, both players and staff, um, you have to be able to kind of uh, take the road as bumpy as it may be with a little bit of um, swallow your pride because there is going to be some times when it's almost like a golf game, right? Everybody knows everybody plays golf. And okay, you get out there and you're like, wow, this I'm, gonna, I'm not going to throw my club this time. I'm just going to keep moving. And I think that's kind of the approach is going to be. We're going to have some young guys that um, the one thing I'm good at is teaching. The one thing I can never do is teach experience. So we're going to have to go through some things, and that's going to be humbling for me. How's practice been going, and how is that process of getting everybody to gel together going as well? Uh, the practices have been good, but we always find out what our you know canvas looks like after the first game. You know, The painting starts, and it looks like it's pretty good, but then... So I'm a little bit, um, I'll hold back on that one as far as how we're doing, and we'll measure it as we climb. Um, but the character of the guys is really good, um, and I think they're seeing it. And the talent's there. Um, whether we can mesh it all and, and uh, kind of hide some inexperiences, we'll see. But in general, I think it's, it should be a lot of fun to look. It's a, the, that's where you start with things. You enjoy coaching because of the people you coach and work with. And so that's a good group, and I'm going to enjoy it. Now, they'll give me some gray hairs, more than I have, but uh, I think after that it'll be, uh, it'll be fun. Um, last year, whenever you were head coach of Florida Gulf Coast, you knocked USF out of the NCAA tournament. How's this sound? Has there been any banter with you and, the, and the, your player joking around, giving them a hard time about you beating them? No, no, I don't say that's, those days are done. And I, I, mean, I mean that honestly. Um, I have not spoken a word about that since. Now I will say my first day here when I introduced the team it was a night it was a meat locker I mean it was cold in there those guys gave me the freeze but look I chip away at the ice and become uh, put my arm out and uh, give hugs when I can and and it starts to change but I'm a full bull I mean I'm all in and there's no looking back and there's no looking and looking for any banter other than where we're heading who our next opponent is team got a few first place votes or picked to finish third. Uh, how does the team embrace that? How do you embrace that with the American? Don't know if they've seen that yet, um, but how do I embrace that? Look, preseason um, voting is just exactly that. It's all speculation. It's almost like trying to figure out the market these days, right? So I I generally teach that uh, I don't care where we start, it's where we end, and everything. You know, kind of say it sounds cliches, but um, my message today was the guys was, look, the beauty of every season, you have your own road. And there's nobody else that has been on the road. It's never been done before. And that's the fun. Um, but don't look at where you start. Really don't stare at kind of the, you know, the, the common goals. Just enjoy the road and, and see where you get. You know, and, and that's, that's what's going to be our kind of path this year. Have you been brought up on the I-4 rivalry? You were up speed on that? Um, yeah, but you got to understand, I was at Florida Gulf Coast. Any any state school was a rivalry, and uh, and UCF and USF and FGCU and those, they're there now. That might be a little bit, uh, there might be a little bit more venom in this one, but you know, I love rivalries, and I think, look, S Scott, the coach there, he's an exceptional guy, uh, and he and I are close friends, um, and I think the class of the two coaches will kind of deflate some of maybe the the sharpness to the game but in the in the end I think it'll be a I think it'll be a really fun game he's a great guy and he's and uh, and he does a good job so I think it's just if the game is the quality I think it should be then the years to come are going to be more fun you had Ricardo uh, Gomez make the preseason all-conference team uh, what are your impressions of him and what is he bringing to the table the, the, the beauty of Ricardo is he is a, uh, a determined young man, and he has a very strong, stubborn personality to him in a good way. Um, and that has kind of made his survival here um, good. 
And what I mean by survival is like he has come through a lot in his, and I think in his career and his life, and I think he is now adapting to a new coach, um, and he has opened his mind. So for me, he's moving his brain and he's moving his uh, mind and his experiences on, um, and he has embraced what we do, and I can't I can't appreciate him enough. Um, whether he's successful this year, that's going to be up to him and us putting him in the right situations, but. He's going to have to change some things in his game, and he knows that. Um, and I think if he does, then, then there's a good player there.